Hey guys, what is up Dave here coming back to you with a new video on the channel. Today's video is a monumentous occasion. And no, it's not because I released a video today and actually edited everything and did all that jazz and you guys should go watch it because it's the true story and history of 1320 Challenge, a game prior to Auto Legends, a game prior to Racing Rivals, a game prior to Nitto 1320 Legends, a game prior to Car Town, foreshadowing. Anyway, Today's video is all about media fire. Not really. It's actually about something else. I got an email this morning that someone was trying to log into my media fire account. I was under the impression my media fire account was banned in 2012 ish, 2013, because I was hosting mods and hacks on it for combat arms. Well, I couldn't log in with that email. And then I noticed, oh, this email is to a different email. I didn't know I had a Mediafire account with this email, so I changed the password and I logged in and found something very interesting. Oh, I spoiled it. Um, stick with me. <laughs> I found some stuff. So do you remember an old game that we all loved when it was like 2013, 2014 called Car Town? I've been looking for these files for 10 years. They were uploaded June 7th of 2013, if I'm reading this format correctly, because it's not American and us Americans are stupid. The files are here. Now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The server files and all that, the server's gone. These are just the main SWF and the preloader SWF. Now, what is the difference? Preloader preloads important files. The main uh, SWF does exactly that. It's the main loading. So we're going to go through the preloader first is duh preloader and then we're going to go through the main exe and we're going to use jpexes because it's the most popular tool to use so first of all you'll see in the preloader we want to go straight to scripts and we go to the preloader this is where you have the preloading so like all the urls you're going to need and things like that what we need to find is a cache url what is a cache url well it's right here so, really interesting thing is also on here is the original Cartown files, which is what I downloaded and dug through first because I'm more well versed in Cartown rather than EX. EX was only for, I think, China, Japan, and like Korea or something like that is the only places it was released. Um, EX wasn't in America, basically. So, in the American version of Cartown, if you open up the preloader, That CloudFront URL isn't here. It's demo.cartown.com. It's not here. You have this URL here and up here. So I opened these URLs while I was at work earlier. <clears throat> and unfortunately, access is denied. Why is the server still up? Why is the server still up? I don't understand why the server is still up. So that got me wondering. I was like, okay, I'm going to dig through these other URLs. And none of them do anything. You can't search them on archive.org. You can't throw them in Google. They don't do anything. These files are gone. So I dug through the EX preloader. And that's when I found a different cache URL. Ooh, useful. So if we open this one up. Nope, nope. This one still gives access denied. So interesting thing, though. If we go into the preloader, you will see things like uh, preloader slash featured cars slash FC underscore param1 SWF. If we take this and we put it on this link, access denied, all access to these objects is disabled. So it's a true URL. It should work. I should be able to download that, but all the stuff is gone. Now, what about EX? That downloads. This server works. So, it got me thinking. I'm like, well, can I search this in any reasonable form? I can. Here's the CDN. CIE CDN. Why is it still up? So we can find some stuff, like here's 120.swf. Guess what? 
exists. We can pull this all is a folder. This is a folder. We can pull this file, I think. No, that one is access denied, which usually means it doesn't actually exist. But there's all these folders. All slash one slash br, and then there's this size. Now this size generally means file size. So whatever is in here is 16,600, uh, 166,587 bytes. I don't have a way to find out what's in there because this bucket is not accessible by any means. I can scroll through this all day. It's nothing but folders, unfortunately. It is nothing but folders. And there's no way for me to try to read this and get past the thousand mark because the past the thousand mark doesn't exist because this is on archive.org. I can't do anything beyond this. I can go asterisk, asterisk, and show you that's the only instance of this backup, along with this CSS reset, which is right here. So there's not much we can do there. But what about this URL? Is this on archive.org? I don't think it is, to be honest with you. Um, CloudFront stuff normally, oh, it is. CloudFront stuff normally isn't, but there's only two files on here anyway. So there's not much we can do with it anyway. And I can't pull the bucket because I don't know the login information. So even if I wanted to dig around on here, there's not much I can do for getting beyond this access denied because it doesn't load the bucket publicly. I would have to know what the login information is to access this from like an S3 browser because it's Amazon AWS. But we do have a lot of access to seeing a lot of cool things. So I downloaded that FC1. FC1 has access to some cool things. It gives us some car examples. And there's, I think, 22 FC underscore ones. I don't know what this is. I haven't really dug around it much. It looks like just another loader, I think. No, it's an advertisement for the Corvette. So there's not much we can do there. There is one other URL we know for sure, which is FG for Featured Garage. That one we can open up, which you can see here. And it's a featured garage. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's someone's garage, and there's not even any SWF to it or anything. It's just a JPEG, basically. <laughs> but I have no way to know what else is in here because I can't get past the access denied. I wish I knew who had like ownership of this because we could try to get in contact and be like, hey, can we have that stuff? Like, are you willing to share with us? So another thing I can try to do is maybe search cache URL. Okay, this is the only place it exists. That's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. <laughs> but I can, like, search it here. You can see cache URL, cache URL. Like, there's not much I can do with it. I can do the preloader at... Uh, Latin fonts. I can do the featured garages. But, like, that's all I can actually physically see. I'm not able to see really much of anything else, like how it downloads a car or something like that. I have no idea how it does that. And if I was able to find that, I would be able to download the cars again. Because I at least know, I would at least know how the URL looks. But for some odd reason, it's just, I can't find it. It just doesn't exist. I have I have dug through this thing. Um, maybe it's asset. Okay. Preloader asset. There's that. Preloader asset. And like there's this asset dot SWF, but this doesn't seem to exist on the server. So I'm not sure what it is. Like I've put it pretty much. Oops. Put it pretty much everywhere. When you get this error, that means that the stuff doesn't exist. Like, I've even put it here. 
doesn't exist. We've tried slash car town doesn't exist. Like if we could figure out where this assets.swf is, we might be fine. But as far as I can tell, it just doesn't exist. And I don't know exactly how to find the cars or anything. Because if I just search cars, I get this preloader right here, which is just cars. And it's just going to show me every word about cars. And that's the featured car holder. That's featured cars. Um, featured cars holder. That's it. And then preloader asset is just going to have this. I don't know how it loads the cars. I can't figure it out. So I kind of wonder if I can load up Fiddler. We're going to load up Fiddler real quick. We're going to close traffic. Um, we're going to just try to load these. So I'm going to, I know you can't see my fiddler right now. That's okay. So it doesn't do anything. Absolutely nothing. I can't control it. I can't play it. I can't rewind it, which makes sense. Uh, for some odd reason it loaded somebody's Twitch ID. Maybe that's from something else. I can try to open up the preloader. Also doesn't do anything. Can't play, can't pause, can't do anything. So I don't know how this works. I really don't. And maybe I can get like the debugging working and try to get it to go past. But if I can't get the SWF to even do anything, I really can't do anything. There's nothing I can do. So I don't really know what to do at this point other than... Oh, show default context menus. I wonder if that would do anything. Make this true. Cool. I don't think that's going to change anything, though. Because I still, I already had the right click menu, I already had all that stuff. I cannot figure out how it loads a car. If I can figure out how it loads a car, and like, this is in the preloader. Sure, maybe I'm looking in the wrong place but I don't think I am because I've already done this same search on, oops, um, car town. I've even done, I've already done the same search on the car town SWF. And I know this isn't, I think so I'm just gonna close it. Even if I go to default packages here, like, yeah, there's car town main where you can see this stuff. It doesn't do anything. Like I don't see, how it streams the stuff i don't understand like yeah there's disable button there's this stuff there's all this but i don't understand how it loads the cars uh cash this is going to be a long search very long search i already did http searches i already did HTTPS searches already have manually dug around this in spots that I thought would make sense for what it is. I can't figure out how it loads cars. I can't figure out how it downloads the asset. I need to know at least the URL. Once I know the URL, I can take it from there because I remember the file names were basically just numbers. Very similar to how the featured garage preloader thing worked. Slash featured cars slash fc two dot swf like i know how the system works and i know how it's set up but i need to know what the actual server urls are i don't know what it is and i can't figure it out and i don't even know if like there's videos of somebody hacking the game showing how to do that or i have a lot of research to do to maybe give you guys a part two with good news but the server assets are actually up that's the good thing. We can at least see that stuff exists. But we don't have the ability to download it because we're blind. Like here's main context. We can dig around here. There's the debug string and stuff like that and the startups and all that. But I just don't see how it loads something. There's nothing here that tells me how it loads a car from the server. I have no idea. So 
I'll have to give you guys a part two, maybe, if I figure it out, but don't hold your breath for it. I'm sorry I can't give you better news than that. We at least have the files now. It's possible to try to get it working. I'm going to hit up some flash hackers and see what they say, but I think we are a long way away from making this a reality, and it would still be easier to just... Honestly, Garage Tycoon is an awesome project. Go support it. I'll throw a link in the description. I think that's the best bet, is somebody remaking Cartown from the ground up. Because even then, it's Adobe Flash. Nobody's going to download and play Adobe Flash games. We've proven that with 1320 Challenge. I hate saying that, but it's true. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wish I had better news. And you can definitely hope... I cached URL. We need to know what that is. That could lead to something. Let's hope for a part two. Let's be positive. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Let's see what we can do. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.